Hello and welcome to Lucky. We're hard at work on the next episode. In the meantime, we have a quick film snack for movie lovers that might be of interest. This episode won't feature a review of a short film. Although if you'd like to watch a review for a short film, you're welcome to choose from the selection shown on screen. In this episode, we're shining a light on... Not a film. But the personalities of movie lovers everywhere. Here's what we mean. The film personality, Inkblot, test, is based on work by clinical psychologist Dr. Raymond H. Hamden. In five clicks on videos posted online, visitors can complete the test and view a personality reading, and check out a guesstimate on what film genres they'd probably favor, simply by selecting what they see in the inkblots on the screen. We should note that this inkblot test and information on the study, the Movie Genre Preference Personality Inventory, or the MJPPI, is discussed in this episode for entertainment purposes only. That said, here are some other researcher conclusions from the MGPPI developed by Hamden. The inkblot test focuses on several domains. These include extroversion, conscientiousness, openness, neuroticism, and agreeableness. And coming up are some of the explanations provided by Hamden in terms of what a viewer's preferred genres might be based on how they navigate through the screens. Extroverts seemingly favor action movies. Their preference for action may be due to the fact that they simply like to make things happen due to their outgoing nature. These individuals usually like predictable and structured arrangements, yet they're more inclined to watch romantic movies. A possible reason for this, romantic movies often have predictable endings. Conscientious individuals may be drawn to this genre, as they gain comfort from the idea that love will prevail, and this genre allows conscientious individuals to let go and to live vicariously through the movie. These individuals seem to prefer original and serious content such as drama. Openness to experience is generally displayed by daring, non-conforming, imaginative people with an unusually broad array of interests. Agreeable individuals tend to have a preference for comedy or lighthearted content, and are often distinguished by pleasant, friendly, or optimistic characters. Hamden explains that this generally includes anxious or self-conscious conduct. The study suggests that the preferred genre here may be science fiction for both stimulation and relaxation. One possible reason, sci-fi movies provide a temporary escape from feelings of inner tension, as viewers spend time in a world that's so different from their own. The MGPPI also explores one additional domain. Are you ready, horror movie lovers? Belt in and hang on to your chainsaws. Psychoticism. Ah, psychos. Another mystery solved. Well, not literally running around with chainsaws. Hopes. Psychoticism refers to traits which include a lack of concern with social norms. Hamden's explanation. Horror movie lovers tend to be sensation seekers, so horror movies may fulfill their need for excitement. And these are all interesting explanations. Ah, but are they accurate? That could be up to each individual taking the test to decide for himself or herself. In the meantime, still a bit of fun. Of course, these are only a handful of movie genres. The pilot study actually included 24 movie genre categories. But for the creation of the video inkplot version, sample preferences from the pilot study were condensed into only six genre categories. Action, comedy, horror, drama, science fiction, and romance. And then they start blending the ratios to try to guess what kind of movie the viewer might prefer. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's say the result is like 40% drama, 40% horror, 20% romance. Vampires. 40% romance. Vampires in love. Something about eternal love. Lots of wandering around on the moors. 20% drama, 20% romance. One of them vanishes in a puff of smoke at sunrise. It's all very tragic. And violins. He's Cliff! He's Cliff! Wait, there are no vampires in this movie. Moving on. 40% action. Vampires versus vampire slayers, maybe with a few unexpected ninjas and an exploding robot. 40% sci-fi. Space vampires. So, find anything in the space pod, buddy? Bud? They did. Surprise. Ha ha ha. Oh. Uh oh. 
getting tired of this. No worries, that was just a character. The astronaut's not a living vampire antidote from another galaxy. The space crew aren't all clones. And I haven't disintegrated. Still alive, see? Just a long space hall and we have to entertain ourselves. Hmm, break time, I think. Brunch? Think so. They might have an exploding robot, too. They probably do. Vampire. You sure does. If you'd like to read through the full manual, a link will be provided in the info box. In the meantime, curious folks who are interested in an inkblot personality test. And that could be everybody. How do you mean? Well, we'll have the wired folks going. I just need to click on something. Show me some squiggles. Click, 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 click. Ooh, space adventures. The conscientious folks saying how romantic. I'll bring the candles and some space food. Ooh, space food. The openness folks going interesting. Let's check that out. The agreeable folks thinking, sure, we're in, it'll be a laugh. Diverting. And the extroverts going, everybody into the pool. What about the horror movie lovers? They're just in it because it's too early to find a roller coaster. Fair enough. A video ink plot test is available online and is provided by the Dubai International Film Festival or DIFF. Thanks for joining us. And see you in the next episode. I think I'll have a nap. Wait, who lost the zero gravity tethers for the bunks again? Mildly vexing. Well, in the meantime, I can fly around a bit. Upside. La 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 la. Mm -hmm -hmm. Zero gravity. Fabulous. Bet I could do a flip. <laughs> Surprise. Is that you, Curiosa? Afraid not. That's not good. There was a spot of trouble, but we're all fine. Can't say we recommend further investigation on this planet. The cosmonauts agree. Da. P.S. Breaking out the spare zero gravity straps. The flight engineer is driving us nuts. Talk to your Peter. I know, right? Be right back. <laughs>